Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mega Modded Gungeon. We are going to be jumping in again today and this time I'm going to play as Shade. It's been a little while since I played as Shade. He's pretty fun, very difficult and yeah, just all round cool dude. So going to give him a go. Let's grab ourselves some additional loot to start us off, see if we can get ourselves a decent start. Even if it is just one additional key, I'd be pretty happy. The bootleg pistol, actually fine considering we can't get hit. Got damn rat keys again. I don't know why I keep getting rat keys, but there you go. And the syringe gun, uh, which I think is D tier. I don't think it's particularly good. Um, the bootleg is, if it's the pistol, it's fine. If it's the SMG or shotgun, it's not great. I think it's the pistol, because it has the chance to transmogrify enemies into their bootleg versions, meaning that if you get the shotgun or the SMG, it can bootleg them into, like, a basic bulletkin into an SMG bootleg bulletkin, which is technically a harder enemy. Um, it is the pistol, okay. So we can just use this for now and see how we go. Um, but I don't know how well this will go. Oh shit, I forgot we have inherent uh, piercing as this guy. That actually makes this gun a lot better. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, I don't know how well I'll do as this guy here. This might be, um, a couple of runs built into one here. Um, we will see. Just because, I don't know, this guy can be tricky. Yeah, this is actually an amazing gun for us right now. This thing kind of slaps. Um, we might want to save some ammo for the boss even. We'll see. We will see. Shop here is rather nice. Um, key bullet effigy. For 16, do you know what? I will buy it. It's very, very cheap. And there's a reasonably good likelihood that you find a key bullet kin on your first floor. It's not every time. Let's see how the syringe gun performs. It's all right. Obviously a little inaccurate. Not the best, but it's all right. But yeah, we're, we're fairly likely to see a key bullet kin somewhere around here. Um, and so we'll get two keys if we do. And basically that's like a half price key at that point. So we'll hope for the best. But yeah, you see what I mean? It turns these guys into these dudes. It's not a super high likelihood of happening, but it can happen. We did get ourselves a, a game here, which I'd probably like to participate in. Especially considering we have flight, which makes it real good. Get a shotgun kin round here. He is doubled up there, two of them. Okay. Let's just go check how much this actually costs. So I don't think this gets discounted. 25. We only have 23 right now. We'll have 25 any moment, so let's uh, do this. I'm going to just try and... Ah, uh, I was going to try and bait out the, the uh, curse guy to get some extra money, but it didn't really work out. Right. <clears throat> I mean, flight makes this a breeze, luckily. I mean, piercing also makes it pretty good, too. Good stuff. Get us off the red chest. I like it. Honestly, not amazing for us here. Not amazing, but definitely not bad. Uh, unicorn horn. It does have some tunes. I like the tunes. Gotta remember as well we can also steal if we need to with this guy. Very, very good time to get ammo. Gotta remember that if you run out of ammo with the bootleg weapons, they explode. So we, we literally cannot run out of ammo with it, otherwise it would kill us. Um, causing great depression and sadness. I'm really hoping we get a key bulletkin at some point now that I've, uh, Bought the key bullet effigy. I'd be a little upset if we don't. I'd be a little peeved if we don't. But I do like a good shape run here and there. Okay, I don't know what uh, what types of ghosties there were the jam uh, jammed ones. I have to be careful. Enemies like that can really mess us up. Here we got some more ammo. V. 
very, very good. And I think we can afford another key here as well. They're only 12 a pop. Nice. That's a pretty big discount. And we get ourselves Mimic Bullets, which is actually fine because it makes enemies' bullets into jammed bullets, but uh, we do 50% more damage, but you shoot... Yeah, yeah. Your shots jam enemy bullets doesn't mean anything to us. It doesn't make a difference, so that's fine. Um, I think I'm going to stick with a combined, actually, here. Yeah, jamming enemy shots is kind of a perfect situation for us, to be honest. Because, yeah, as I said, it makes no real difference to us. Just get a few of these big boy shots going. Good, good, good. Good stuff. And we get ourselves the uh, violence as well, whatever it's called. Isn't very good for us, to be honest. Right, uh, anything else I want to do this floor? I don't think so. I think I'll buy another key, but that's about it. I think we'll get gone. Okay, good stuff thus far. Good stuff thus far. Obviously, the run can easily come to a crashing halt very, very quickly, so I can't be too uh, too pleased just yet. But first floor, pretty good stuff. Did it pretty flawlessly, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Curse of Flames is kind of annoying. Uh, let's try this for the room clearing, just with the amount of damage we have right now. It could be quite good. I don't know what these enemies do, so I have to be really careful then. Yeah, with the amount of damage we have right now, this thing's kind of slapping. And also it has piercing too, which has added benefits with a gun like this. And obviously we don't need to reload it too. There's, there's a lot of benefits to using this thing right now. Curse of Fla the Flames is, is going to be more visually annoying than anything else. More visually a pain in the ass than anything else, but still, anything to distract me is going to be bad. So it's still not great to get. It's better than other curses, I suppose. Yeah, I do need to commit a little more to firing until the enemy's actually dead. Shop here. Remember, we can steal if we want to. We can steal if we want to. This thing's pretty good, if I remember correctly. It is S tier. Uh, let's let's steal that. I can't remember exactly how this thing works, but I remember it being good. Uh, let's carry on using this thing for now because it's ammo. It's doing as well. We have a spider in this room. I was just about to say, which I'm imagining will show up in a really in inconvenient location, and it did. Oh my god, the tunes. The goddamn tunes. Look at him so tiny. I think the champion's gonna be the thing that screws me here. Whatever the hell this is. Big angry bomb. It is indeed a weapon. Big angry bomb. A bomb so angry that it should not be thrown. Light the fuse, place it gently on the floor, then back away slowly. You watch this kill me. Hard to know how effective that's going to be, slash how dangerous it's going to be. But I have a feeling if the explosion can hurt me, which it probably can, I'm going to kill myself with it. <laughs> I feel like that's a given. Not a given, a given. Might be a given too. We'll find out. Yeah, piercing with this thing, pretty, pretty, pretty slapping. Hide behind this for a bit. Some extra money there. 
I've got a nose hair that's like tickling my face at the minute and it's really fucking annoying me. God damn. Oh, I destroyed the chest. Doesn't matter. Not what I intend to do at all, but hey her. Hearing the first intro to this song is just going to be something that we have to deal with now. Boss time. Oh, that is so very good. Unfortunately, no cell creep here, because that would have been amazing. Right, then I think we use the bas... Um, the basilisk rifle on the boss. Yeah, it puts that venom on her that does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, this is doing great damage. Excuse me, is there a key bulletkin in this room? Where the hell did you come from? That was very close. Holy shit, I forgot that that attack did that. Where did the key bulletkin come from? I had never seen that before. Okay, this gun slapped her. Definitely our bossing weapon. Our saw weapon. Two fucking keys. We'll go in here. These guys are very scary to me. I guess. Doesn't mean anything to take it, I guess, so why not? Well then, okay, um, I guess I'll try the saw and maybe go with the bootleg pistol again as my secondary. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Okay, good second floor. Good second floor. We are slapping right now. The mimic bullets did us proud. The bas basilisk, ba basilisk did us proud too. Lots of poison on that bad boy. I don't know if, it, if it's something we want to be using as a room clearer or not, though. Feel, it felt really good against a boss there, but I feel like it could also be a pretty effective room clearer, too. I'm, I'm scared to use Big Angry Bomb, I'll be honest. I think it's potentially interesting, but very scary. I'm hoping our Pop Pop ability does some good for us. Oh god, I didn't see you there. I'm actually going to blank here. I know that seems really stupid, but that skull kind of wouldn't leave me alone, and I was scared. Also, the saw gun, unfortunately, right now does not seem very good. Like, it just seems like it's doing very little damage. I'm going to swap that out for the combined rifle, maybe. Let's just try using the combined rifle. Yeah, because even, even if we're doing regular shots, it's really good. And then every now and again, we're going to shoot double balls. I wish I could have got one more use of Pop Pop, but hey her. Gun Muncher? I think Gun Muncher is probably a good idea here. We'll feed you in, and we'll feed you in. So I'm not, not going to use either of those, I don't think. <clears throat> good gun. Very, very good gun, and a very, very good gun to work alongside um, Pop Pop. Ooh, 
Lots and lots of shots bouncing all over the room. Again, as I said, with, as you can see with Pop Pop, pretty damn good. I actually think this could be a really effective room clearer for us. And now I'll use it as such. None Mick. Get the triple gun. It's fine. It's not amazing for us. I think with the damage bonus we have, it's going to be decent. But effectively, most guns are going to be decent with the damage bonus we have right now. I do not like this room at all. This is a room I'm just trying to fill with as many bullets as I can. To just get it over and done with. Thank you. Did not like the situation we were in there. Yeah, this is... This is really good with the amount of damage we have and the fact... I don't know if it normally has piercing. I feel like it does, but if it doesn't... It's getting a massive benefit from that. But I feel like it does normally have piercing. I might be wrong about that. The good thing is, this game has smart bounce. So the bullets are going to be predisposed to bounce towards enemies. Regardless if the angle of the bounce makes sense or not. Also, did you notice those, then that when we re entered the room, the enemies were all... Are you fucking kidding me? That was the fattest load of horseshit I've ever seen in my life. The enemy was knocked back, backwards by the bouncing bullet, directly into me. At, like, such high speeds as well. A speed of which I probably wouldn't have been able to react to even if I'd have seen it coming. That was heckin' bullshit. <laughs> Now I have to start over again with this measly run that has no goddamn good shit going for it like the last one did and start all over again. Now I'm very depressed. I'm so very depressed. I was in such a good flow there. That run was all going so well. And my dreams were shat upon. <sighs> Such good run. And this time, it's brown chests, baby. Not two green chests like last time. Oh, no, no. We couldn't get that lucky again, could we? Ah, uh, my spaghetti is upsetting. Let's try and make this run a little better, shall we? We'll see how this goes. I'm hoping I get a good weapon on this first floor to tackle the boss, but... Knowing my luck, it's all run out now. The Crimson Crown. Let's take it and see. Holy Grail, I was going to say it's so good, but it's actually not. The Crimson Crown. Says your HP to half a heart upon entering a new floor. Enemies have a random chance to start themselves near death. That seems incredible.
Also, I can't remember if either of those Guan Stones that were for sale would be good for us, but we should probably buy at least one of them. It's actually, let's steal one of them first. Let's go Boom Bao. Um, the Amulet's obviously not very good. We'll take the Indigo Guan Stone. I can never remember what this thing does. I think it might just be a very closely um, spiraling one to keep us safe. Orbit's close, offering bullet, banishing protection. Don't know exactly what that means, but I'm hoping it's good stuff. I'm hoping it just deletes bullets that get near us, or blanks, or something, I don't know. I might buy the rusty amulet as well, just in case that is what it does. This is bullet banishing protection, which makes me think it might do a blank effect if it gets hit. Boranthe ring, not particularly happy with that. I don't really like things that's change your dodge roll, but it is what it is. That's 44 as well. Buy the key for now, open this blue chest, and then we'll come back and try and steal the rusty amulet if it blanks during the fight. If it doesn't, we'll leave it. Pretty good. The Anne villain is, in my, uh, in my books, a pretty decent boss killer. So the thing is, to, to, to test the amulet, we have to have it get hit, which I'm not willing to do. As you can see though, this thing, with the slight bit of damage bonus we get as this guy kind of slaps. I got a little close there. Good, and villain doing very well for us. We've got ourselves this thing, which is pretty good, if I remember correctly. Head down here, because this doesn't cost us anything. If I remember correctly, when, it ki when you kill an enemy, it takes their power. It doesn't work for every enemy, but certain enemies you can steal their powers. It makes little noises too, apparently. Let's just check on that to make sure I've got that right. Highly moddable space blaster with a port in the handle for memory drive to be inserted. Reload to scan enemies and copy their traits for the next clip. Okay, did that a bit wrong. Uh, we will most certainly take Unbreakable Spirit here. And... I'll steal the amulet, why not? I can't even steal the amulet. I, I forgot about that. Whoops. I forgot you can't steal two things. Bugger it. We'll just leave then. We'll just back and leave. But yeah, I'm glad to have the USB again. I think it got a bit updated since I last used it. Really cool concept for a weapon, if I remember correctly. It might be a little bit cumbersome to use when we can't take damage, just because we have to kind of think about it. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, reload to scan enemies to... Okay, so it's not... Oh, there you go. Okay, I already got my, break my Unbreakable Spirit props, so that was very good. Okay, it's doing some good stuff already. It's doing some real good stuff already. It seems to be doing it pretty much automatically on reload, which is nice. Some good stuff. There's some good stuff. We had the pop pop and everything last time. Just, ugh. So depressed we lost that run to some BS. There's like not much you can do about it, but it's still annoying. 
Also, losing my unbreakable spirit so early as this guy isn't great. Oh, God. Um, S tier. Sounds fun. What does this do again? Spiral and beautiful patterns capable of twisting the fabric of bullet-based matter to leave you with more bullets than you started with. Ah, oh, nice. It's just the, the uh, angelic prism from Isaac. It's good is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, if we fire through it, a bunch of rainbows come out the other side. Good shit. We don't want to, like, completely stick to it sort of thing. We can use other things. But if we manage to line up with it, especially in boss rooms, it's going to be valuable. It's going to be worth our time. I like the noise this gun makes. It's satisfying. Oh, God. I made mistakes here. Luckily, it's all fine. I tried to get that uh, chance kin. Wasn't worth the uh, the effort I was trying to put in. Right. That is the Beholster's Bell S tier. Pull six random guns from the player's inventory and sends them into orbit around the player for a brief period of time. Fortunately, it doesn't work with beam weapons. Um, stolen Bell is awesome and all, but seeing the Beholster without it is something you are still trying to forget. Oh, God. Okay, well, we don't have six random weapons, so we'll see how that works. We won't use it until the boss... We'll save it for a bit. Oh, wait. Okay, no. I was going to say, is it just not usable if we don't have six weapons? But it's just not usable if we, um, we're not in combat. Oh, that, that insta-kill randomly is pretty nice from that um, June Lib Crown, whatever it was called. I wonder if it'll just make it six by duplicating some of the things we already have. Hey, look at that. So nice to get that insta-kill randomly. Oh shit, I didn't realize that enemy was there. Whoopsie. Lined up with a kaleidoscope. Okay, okay. keep it going, keep it going. Okay, this little USB gun is doing us proud right now. Doing a decent job. Make some random forms here and there that are pretty powerful. That is definitely a mimic. I saw it. Oh, got a secret room in here too. Key of life. Key of love even, sorry. Uh, turns hearts into keys, allowing you to use your life in place of keys if you've ran out of keys. No bottle of bullets? Fine. Whatever this is? Fine. All good stuff. Cheese boots? Not so, not so much. I'm going to drop the key because I think it was bugged last time and I, do, I definitely can't use it anyways, so it's like, why well, keep it? Um, right. What was the weapon that we got there? The glazer beam. Fires lasers that hang in the air. Repul um, repurposed for arbitrarily menacing laser walls salvaged from the abandoned supervillain's hideout. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty useful. Um, I think we should just go. Right, let's grab this thing. Use our, uh, our belt to see how that works. It does duplicate. 
Also, the laser beam gun, even though laser beams don't work with the belt, does work with this because it fires bullets that fire lasers. Also, with the kaleidoscope thing, it's pretty, pretty sick. Didn't last long, but it comes up again pretty quick. Good shit. I like it. Gilded bullets is good for us. And I think I'm going to go with the USB again. Anything else we want to buy? No. Let's just go. Let's just go. My nose hairs are bothering me so much. I need to get a nose hair trimmer. The blight of being a man. Hair grows everywhere. And I don't often want it to. Annoying. We'll keep that as a secondary. USB it up for now. Yeah, this thing just needs more forms. Once it has more forms, it is, it's going to be really good. It's, it's already got a good amount, and it is, it is a lot of fun. But there's just qu still quite a few enemies that don't have any specifics with them. That it'd be, it'd be cool to see have some specific forms. Goddamn, two shrines so far. Both of them useless. Forgot we had devolver rounds, I'll be honest. Extra key is good. That is... Oil cylinder. The, the sprite for it looks different. I think it's because it's actually oiled now, which is kind of cool. Um, but that that's pretty good. Half reload time. Really nice, especially for um, a few guns that we have already. Anvil and stuff like that. Oh, this shotgun kin just seems to be stuck. I'm not quite sure what that was about. I think it spawned on top of a mushroom and for some reason that got it stuck. Hey, got some more ammo for this bad boy. I like that a lot. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's a shame it only lasts a mag as well sometimes. Sometimes you get a really cool uh, version, it's like, ah, oh, it's gone. It may be interesting, I don't know if it'd be a synergy or a different weapon entirely, if instead, when you, once you killed an enemy, you got its form, kind of like the chamber gun, and you could just switch to whatever form you wanted. Might be a bit strong, but be cool. Synagrace here. Remember, we'd be losing damage if we uh, got rid of our money, so we need to evaluate if Synagrace is even worth it. Tech stun. Another key there. Glad I unlocked that early. Beautiful. We have quite a few methods of turning enemies, like insta killing enemies. We have the ability for them to just have low HP and the ability to turn them into uh, arrow kin, which I, I really like. Another key there, like that. Okay. Let's check what's in here. Oh, good. Oh, this is a good weapon as well. We are, we are getting up there in the curse. I do realise that. In fact, I might use this thing for room clearing for a little bit here. Goopy boy. 
Banana jam hands. Isn't that just firing a gun when you reload? I'm going to take that just because it's cheap. Like, really cheap. And it's a bit of extra DPS. I'll see how much Sinegrace costs. Yeah, this thing with the damage boost we have is very, very good. Because it homes. And I think it has infinite range. The only thing is the projectiles are slow to get going. So... To start with, it's a little risky. Also, that knockback is not ideal. But I think it applies a status effect, right? Yeah, it does. I don't exactly know what the status effect does, mind you, but... Hey, her. Right, let's quickly check this out. If it's any less than 30, I think I'll go for it. Oof, no. Too, too expensive. That's, that's a lot of damage to lose. Right, I think we go with a Glazer Beam here. Oh, yes. I mean, the frames are just abysmal, but that is hilariously fun. The good thing is the Glazer Beam recharges our active real heckin' fast as well. I like this. This is a, a fun set of items we have here. Visually, it's terrifying, but otherwise pretty good. Ooh, also banana jam hens plus this. It has to be on empty mag, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, we got a heart up there, which doesn't do much for us, I don't think. It might have some special interaction with this character, I don't remember. Look at that, that's beautiful. Unbreakable spirit, good, good. I'll take all-seeing eye as well. Why not? Both are pretty good. We don't get all-seeing eye's effect on this floor, though, do we? No secret room revealed. Right. Away we go. Um, I'm still going to use this thing, I think, despite the uh, pushing around. We did get a 10% bonus max ammo, which might have been from the health upgrade. Or it might have just been something unrelated. I think it's probably from the health upgrade, though. I'm guessing that's one of the balanced things that Nevername did with this character. The only thing I'm worried about with this soul lantern is... It won't hit enemies quick enough to defend me, and it might push enemies around in undesirable ways, as happened with our first run. I guess we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see what happens, but you never really know. You never really know. Hoping we can get our money up to a good amount. I think it's 250 to max out Gilded Bullets, right? I can never remember. Yeah, I quite like this, and also the the way that it works with the uh, kaleidoscope here is very good too. Had to blank there just in case. I just like the fact that it just homes for us. We can kind of sit back and let it do its thing. It's also fairly ammo efficient. The only thing I'm noticing is it is a little problematic when it comes to walls like that. Okay, you can steal my bullets a little bit, but not fully. This is a room for this. Barely know what's going on right now. All I'm hoping is the room's almost over. Nice. Hello. Ah. That's cool. I've never seen that shrine before, and I can't even use it. So I'm guessing it costs HP. Right. Is there anything we want to throw away? Chloranthi ring, I hate. So I'm going to get rid of that. Glass Gormstone, you can go. Weapon-wise, I think T-shirt cannon obviously can go. 
Or maybe we've already maxed out Gilded Bullets, because it's at 153 still. 1.53 1. times, so maybe it's already maxed out. My bad. Secret room's over there, it's an NPC, nice. Get away from me, Chasey boys. Very bad enemy to get here because it can telefrag the hell out of us. But it's happened before. And it will happen again. Beautiful. Yeah, this, this weapon is really, really good for us. The, the only thing I say, like I said, is I worry about. It's just the fact that projectiles start off so slow. It could screw us over. Take an extra blank. I think we get those with all seeing eye, don't we? Fine by me. Still gonna stick with this bad boy. That was close, I got stuff on a wall there. Wow, that was very, very close. My bad. Okay, this is going well. We got chain key, chest teleporter, the risk rifle. Uh, that would be very bad. Um, bunch of sacks of pickups. Risky room there. Little bit scary, little bit hairy. Before you get a chance to do anything, lovely. Cleared those ones out, those are the main ones I cared about. That's pretty good, slow running me bullets. Right. Let's do this thing. This is going to be horrible, and I'm probably just going to use all my blanks here. blank. If we need it, we're good. Whew. Shadow ring? Don't remember what that does. Creates a shadow realm duplicate upon damage. Ugh. Unfortunately, not very good for us, but a cool item nonetheless. And we got one blank left for this room too, which is lovely. dangerous to go alone take this ah oh, unfortunately not very good so satisfying <laughs> stick with this thing for now it's just doing us so well there's no reason to change it up uh yeah rng gun 
Just not very good right now. I'm really hoping for good passives. On damage passives aren't really ones that count. Uh, at least we do have a second extra life if we need it. Shameful that I had to use the first one, but sometimes it happens. Okay, so flames again here. Okay, that was a little bit... Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, that was a little bit too close to comfort there, game, but there you go. Bootleg room just spawns enemies directly on top of me. Good to know it's so careless and kind. What's going on with this enemy that's, like, directly over a pit and just refusing to die? What's something to do with... Is this something to do with pit lords? Why are these enemies falling into pits? What's going on here? Something to do with pit lords packed. Don't like the hammers. Fuck! I didn't see the Ashen guy. Damn it that I lost my goddamn extra life on that stupid, bloody, fucking stupid, what's it called room? Bootleg room. The enemies just, like, what literally in your face when you walked in the door. They were way too close. Either way, that was a fun couple of runs nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.